1942, I was an officer on a Dutch merchant ship, passenger cargo liner, and we were sailing from England to Australia via Cape Town, and the ship's pet was a large Dutch white rabbit called Case, K-A-S-E, and he spent most of his time on the boat deck hopping about. He was very well fed with fresh greens and carrots and things, and he was well liked by the crew. When the weather was bad, he used to go in to the officer's smoke room and occupy a wicker chair. But when we got to Australia, the customs asked the chief officer the usual routine questions, one of which is, and do you have any ship's pets? Expecting him to say a cat or a couple of cats, which is quite normal. But when he said, oh, we have a rabbit, a Dutch, large Dutch rabbit, the customs officer reacted as if he'd been shot. He said, what? Don't you know we had a plague of rabbits in Australia and they're absolutely forbidden to enter the country? But the chief officer said, well, we're not really entering the country. So that makes no difference. It'll have to be put down. So there was great consternation and they took it up with the Dutch consul. And after much toing and froing, it was agreed that the rabbit could stay as long as it was absolutely certain it couldn't escape. And they took its photograph and took a bond for, I think it was £10,000, surety. Anyway, when we left Australia, the customs at Perth had a look at the rabbit, the photo of the rabbit, and said, yes, that's the same one. So there we are. Now, as I mentioned, the rabbit went into the officer's smoke room when the weather was bad. Now, we were in the Pacific on this occasion, and we had entered a typhoon, which was a very severe storm indeed. And on deck these days, they had ventilators for fresh air because back away in the early 1940s, there was no air conditioning. And the ventilator, of course, was pointed away from the way the waves would hit the ship. But in a typhoon, this is very difficult because the waves come from all directions. Anyway, Case was duly in the smoke room on the wicker armchair, and above him was the other end of a ventilator, which nobody really thought much about. Anyway, a gigantic wave came along, hit the ship, and half a ton of water came down the ventilator and straight on to Case, who was lying underneath the wicker chair. Now, rabbits are very susceptible to shock, and I'm sorry to say the shock of heavy water killed him. There was great consternation amongst the officers because this was the last connection with home. And the ship's carpenter made a lovely coffin. It was lined with muslin and other things and um, also there were some heavy metal weights placed in it as well. Then Case was laid in the coffin and it was sealed and his name was on the top of it. Then they, they built at the side of the ship a slipway and we all went to, those of us not on watch, went to the side and the chief officer conducted a funeral service, a full funeral service. And the coffin was draped with the Dutch flag. And when he completed, he signaled to the captain and the captain gave the order to stop the engines and the ship stopped and the rabbit was released onto the chute and into the water and of course the weights put it down and that was the end of case.